Hello everyone, welcome to My The Young and the Restless Homies official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Mamie Johnson will be doubtful when Tucker McCall acts as if vengeance isn't on his mind anymore, according to The Young and the Restless spoilers for Friday, December 8. Tucker will declare that he wants to accomplish something positive and productive, but Ashley Abbott will overhear and say she'll believe it when she sees it. When Mamie leaves, Ashley will wonder what Tucker is up to, so he'll be irritated that she doesn't believe his good intentions. Tucker will want to take Ashley up on her offer to sell him half of Blackad, the European fragrance company they plan to utilize as the foundation of their new empire. Ashley, on the other hand, will pretend to have changed her mind since she now sees the company's potential. Tucker will be irritated because he will believe Ashley cannot allow him to have this one win, but she will explain she is not that petty. Tucker will promise to fight Ashley if she refuses to sell her half of the company. Tucker will speak with Teresa upstairs in Tucker's suite. Tucker will bring up the purchase agreement that was created and will request that his seeming attorney carefully review it. Teresa will warn Tucker that it won't be simple after he says he wants a method to kick Ashley out. Tucker will promise to find someone else to complete the job if Teresa is unable to do it because he wants to be the only owner of Glecad. Jill Abbott will discuss the plan to connive and strike back at Tucker with Jack Abbott, Billy Abbott, and Diane Jenkins Abbott in the Abbott Mansion. Jill will be impressed with the Abbott's willingness to get dirty in the mud and will feel compelled to hit Tucker with something he won't be able to recover from. There will be some discussion about Glockade because Tucker is putting money into it and likely intends to use it to target Jebot. Jack will seek to devalue Glockade and remind everyone that Tucker flew dangerously close to the sun. Billy will explain that they already have a weapon to fight back, so we'll keep Jill updated on the underage female cover-up. If Tucker is mentioned, the French board of directors and any Glockade business partners who want nothing to do with him. Jill will think that's fantastic and will be eager to break the news, but Jack will think they need to speak with Ashley first because she still owns half of Glackad. Meanwhile, Jill will reveal an off-screen plot to divert Tucker's attention. Although there will be worries about Jill's ability to put her genuine feelings aside and appear sincere, Jill will insist she has this. When Ashley appears, she will agree with Jack that Tucker's idea to deploy Glackad against Jabot is sound. Ashley will mention that she offered Tucker her half of the company and then backed out of the arrangement simply to test him and see how desperate he was for it. Ashley will reaffirm Tucker's intention to use it as a wrecking ball against Javod once he acknowledges he really wants it. Jack will urge Ashley to sell her share to Tucker, so Billy and Diane will reveal their plan with Jill. Ashley will be concerned about Jill's involvement, but Jack will insist that they're all working together to bring Tucker down for good. Phyllis Summers will approach Christine Blair at Crimson Lights and question her about the buzz she's heard. Phyllis will inquire about Christine possibly quitting her position as DA, but Christine will dismiss the question as unimportant. Phyllis would have questions regarding Christine and Danny Romilotti's relationship because she sensed it. Christine will act as if it is something worth pursuing but she will still believe Phyllis has no right to know anything about her life. Phyllis' interest, according to Christine, will be motivated by jealousy. When Phyllis arrives at the jazz lounge, Michael Baldwin will join her for a drink. Phyllis will cry because Christine and Diane were both able to overcome their mistakes and find love. It'll be difficult for lonely Phyllis since she won't understand why she can't have both. Michael will give Phyllis a pep talk and tell her that she shouldn't compare her journey to anyone else's. Phyllis will agree to focus on improving her life and make something positive out of it after Michael motivates her to latch onto something good. Danny will bring several grocery bags to Daniel Romilotti Jr.'s flat and explain he needs to use Daniel's kitchen. Danny will actually require the entire flat for his next supper with Christine, so Daniel will discover his father is preparing his famous sauce for her. Because it appears to be a date, this will lead to a grilling session regarding when Danny and Christine reached this level. 
Danny will admit to kissing Christine and will appear to be excited about where things are going. So Daniel will leave as Christine comes. On Friday's edition of Y and R, Danny will have a beautiful meal with Christine, during which they will discuss how the sauce is the same but better. Christine and Danny's connection will appear to be genuine. They'll sway together before kissing after Danny puts on some music and asks Christine to dance. Lily's apartment. Lily returns home and phones Charlie to give him an update on the incident. She's on her way, but Maddie will be oak. Daniel rushes in once she disconnects. She searches for her keys while Daniel tells her that she is not allowed near campus. She is aware. She wishes to be close to her. She finds some keys and some work for the plane, which she drops on the floor. She's such a mess. Daniel wants to assist and calls to clear his schedule for today and tomorrow. He'll accompany her. She won't let him, but she will accept his hug. They hold hands. According to the young and the restless spoilers, Danny and Christine may still have a difficult romantic route to walk, so stay tuned. Sally Spectra and Adam Newman will have an important chat regarding their future, according to the young and the Restless Spoilers teaser video for the week of December 11 to 15. Sally will question Adam if he truly believes they can press the reset button, to which Adam will respond, sure as hell willing to try. Adam can't do it alone, so Sally must decide whether she too is eager to embrace a new beginning. Meanwhile, Divin Hamilton Winters won't be delighted to see Nate Hastings return to Chancellor Winters, leading Abby Newman Abbott to worry if rehiring his cousin was a mistake. Cole Howard will then discuss how terrified Claire Grace is now that she is imprisoned. Cole and Victoria Newman will follow through on their pledge to support Claire in exchange for her cooperation on a DNA test. Victoria would keep Michael Baldwin updated on how they informed Claire that they would assist her in finding a lawyer. Michael will be shocked when he asks if they want him to defend Claire, so getting him on board may take some effort. Of course, Michael will be aware that Victor Newman will despise the notion, so Victoria will be pleading with him to oppose her father and fight for Claire's freedom. Jordan will glance at Eve Howard's framed photo in her motel room hideout and note that it won't be long now. The high and mighty Newman family will get exactly what they deserve, every last one of them. Jordan proclaims in this week's preview video for Young and the Restless. Jordan's commitment will undoubtedly be foreboding, especially given the pain she's already inflicted on the Newmans. Jordan appears to be planning far worse, so stay tuned to witness the rest of her vindictive plans. According to the Young and the Restless spoilers, bad news is on the way for Nikki Newman and her family. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.